Hello guys, it is five o'clock. I got off work a bit early because I am at Albertsons again. They invited me back to cover their hatch chilies. I know nothing about hatch chilies, so we are here to learn. And I brought Sean along with me as my cameraman again, so let's go figure out what this is all about. <laughs> blown away <laughs> and it's actually not that bad I had the guacamole it wasn't too spicy which I was very happy about we just finished up at Albertsons it is 542 I think we got all of the photos that we needed to get for the event and now I need to head home and write a blog post so that I can put it up tomorrow because the event ends on the 14th. And after that, I need to edit this vlog. And then I was gonna go for a run, but I don't think that's gonna happen today, so. Too bad. Did you like the chilies? They were good. They were really good. The guac was really good. So we learned that Hatch is the brand? We yes, think. we learned that Hatch is the brand, we think. We're pretty dang sure because we buy their diced chilies. We usually buy them in the can, but these are fresh, so. I will see you when I get home. So we just got home. It is 6 p.m., guys, 6 p.m. Are you ready for this? Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 103 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 67 degrees. What? It's 103. And it's 6 p.m. It is so stinking hot out. I had the AC on in my car on the way home. And normally my AC makes me like absolutely freezing if I have it on higher than two. And I had it on full blast at four and I was still like comfortably warm. <laughs> and that's just crazy. I can't believe it's 103 and it's 6 p.m. That's, that's what blows my mind. I could expect that at like, between noon and four, but it's 6 p.m. We're skipping dinner again tonight. We're doing fend for ourselves. We've got plenty of leftovers in here still that we don't really need to make dinner. And then because tomorrow is the culture event at work, I am getting food catered so I don't have to worry about my lunch. So we're just gonna rummage through the fridge for dinner and then I'll probably eat at my desk while I'm editing photos from the event that we were just at. So when I say fend for yourself, I really mean I'm just gonna have cake and ice cream for dinner. <laughs> oh, my mom taught me well, I hope she's proud of me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sean's having like rice and potatoes and- Haley? Yes, Sean? The cake is a lie. What do you mean it's a lie? Look it up, the cake is a lie. What's that mean? You've played Portal. Portal. I, I don't think I have. I don't even know what that is. Remember, you jump through the portals? You shoot the portals and you jump through them. And there's like cube, a cube thing that you pick up and carry around with your gun? Nope. Nope? Alright. So I don't get your reference of why my cake is a lie. It's not lying to me! <laughs> so while I eat my cake and ice cream. I'm going to edit these uh, photos from the event and put together the blog post and schedule it for tomorrow. And then once I'm done with that, 
I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a ton of footage from today just because we were at that event. And then I need to put together this blog post, but I'll probably put in a time lapse of me working on the blog post and that might be it for the day. We'll see how the night goes and what all happens. Okay, so I have my blog post all written up, all the photos are edited, and it's scheduled for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I'm super excited that I got that done. It's only 7.30, so I have plenty of time this evening to get this vlog edited and uploaded for tomorrow. But it's just thought I would share with you guys, uh, while I was working on the blog post, I was listening to Spotify, and one of my favorite playlists is Evening Acoustic. It's one of just the normal Spotify playlist so anybody can find it and listen to it but I love listening to just like super chill acoustic music especially when I am working on something or trying to focus just having that music in the background is really calming and I don't well now that I've listened to it like a million times I am starting to know the songs but when I first started listening to it I didn't know any of the lyrics so it was really good for me to listen to and I wouldn't like start singing along to it but now I kind of know the lyrics but because it's still pretty calming I don't think I really sing along in my head too much um, that's definitely a problem with me when I was in college I had to listen to um, classical music I have uh, I bought an album that was like 99 Mozart uh, songs because or symphonies what whatever Mozart made I don't need symphonies I don't know anyway 99 Mozart tracks and I would listen to that anytime I was doing homework or studying or reading because if I were to listen to any other kind of music I would learn the lyrics and then I would start like thinking and singing the lyrics in my head instead of reading my textbook or working on my homework so I had to listen to classical music whenever I was in school so that's just a little tip if there's anybody that is in school and likes to listen to music or needs to listen to music but has a hard time because of the lyrics, try classical music. It's also very calming, very similar to acoustic. My battery is dying, so I think I'm gonna have to go. I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see my little adventure at Albertsons. Um, it's really fun to get to do stuff like that, especially around here in Boise. And I'm so grateful that I'm invited to things like that. But I am going to have to go because my battery is going to die. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.